Today you're going to learn how to turn any image into a black and white image with just three shades of grey. So this is a really detailed image but it only has three shades of grey and this is called a threshold effect on Photoshop. So you'll learn how to turn this into this and you'll also learn how to turn this image into this. So if you like these types of videos make sure you hit that like button and if you have any questions just comment down below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. So let's get started. So as always, if you wanted to follow along with this tutorial, I'll leave a link to both of these images in the description below. So I'm going to right click and copy this image and let's go into Photoshop and I'm going to press, press Ctrl V or Command V to paste the image. You can also go edit and paste. So I'm just going to zoom into this image by clicking on the zoom icon and click on fit screen. And if you don't see these layers panel, the layers panel right here, just go to windows and click on layers. So there's two layers now, the white background and the, uh, the layer of the image itself. So I'm going to double click on this layer to rename it. I'm just going to name it dog original image. Cool. So now I'm going to make an extra copy of this image. So to make an extra copy, just click and drag this into the new layer icon. So now we have an extra copy. So I'm going to rename this one to 100%. So the reason I'm naming this 100% is because of the opacity. So I'm going to name each layer after the opacity. So this opacity is at 100%. So let's go uh, click on the 100% layer and go to Image, Adjustments, and click on Threshold. So that's Image, Adjustment, and Threshold. And that's going to take uh, turn the entire image into a black and white image. And there won't be any gray in this image. It's just black and white. And there's this little window here. And if you play with this graph, if you move it to the left, it becomes more white. If you move it to the right, it becomes more black. So I'm just going to move the first 100% layer all the way to the left and try to get rid of as much of the uh, black as possible. So almost to a point where you can't really even see what this image actually is. So just about there. And once we start adding in more details, then the image starts to... Um, uh, then you can actually see what the image is and we can kind of get the effect that we are going for. So now let's create another extra copy of the dog original uh, image layer. And I'm going to move this image layer above the 100% layer. And I'm going to rename this one to 75%. So let's lower this opacity to 75%. So you can just type it in here. And I'm going to do the same thing. So click on the 75% layer, go to image, adjustments and threshold. So let's lower this, um, uh, make this kind of the more white as well. So now you can see, kind of see the details starting to come in. And I want this one to be just about there. So now you can actually tell that this is an image of a dog. So let's click on OK. So that looks good. So let's do another one. So this one will be 50%. So make an extra copy, move it above the 75% layer, and rename it to 50%. And we're going to reduce the opacity down to 50%. And again, choose the 50% layer and go to Image, Adjustments, Threshold, and just get rid of all of those black bits there. So now you can really see those details starting to come in. We're starting to get the effect, uh, effect that we're going for. So let's click on OK. And there's one more layer now, which is the 25% layer. So let's make another extra copy of the dog original image. And let's move that above the 50% layer and rename it to 25% and let's lower the opacity to 25%. So this last layer is what kind of adds a lot of detail to, to the image. So let's go into image, adjustment, threshold, and let's kind of reduce the, the gray a little bit. So you might not be able to see those grays because uh, it's, it's on YouTube right now, but uh, you can kind of slightly start, start, start to see those um, details now after you add the final gray layer. So let's click on OK. Now there's the effect. So now there's only three different uh, types of grays on this image, but there's still a lot of detail in this image. So that's how powerful this uh, effect could be. So it's, it's called threshold uh, on Photoshop. So let's, add, uh, let's do one more image. So let's go into pixels.com and I'll leave uh, this link in the description below as well. So it's a, a classical painting image. So let's right click, copy this image. Let's go into Photoshop, File, New, and let's click on Create. So I'm going to press Control V or Command V to paste the image. 
and I'll just rename this image to original. Yeah, I'll just name it original. So let's make an extra copy of this. And I'm going to rename this to 100%. And let's go image adjustments threshold. And let's get rid of as much of the uh, black as possible. So 100% has to get rid of as much of the black as possible to the point where you can't even tell what kind of image um, what kind of image it is. So let's click on OK. Now the next one. Let's move this above the 100%. Type in 75%. And let's lower the opacity to 75%. And let's give it a threshold effect. So let's lower this to just about there. So now you can kind of tell what the image is. And let's go to the next one, which is 50%. Uh, so let's rename this to 50% now. And let's lower the opacity to 50%. And let's give it a threshold effect. So image, adjustments, threshold. And now you can really see those details starting to come in. So that looks really good now. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move this to the right a little bit more. Actually, more to the left, just about there. Let's click on OK. Cool. So now let's add another one, which is the 25% layer. And let's move it above 50% and name it to 25%. And let's lower the opacity to 25. And go image, adjustments, threshold. So you can see how easy this is. Just a rinse and repeat process. So now the final layer, you can see the amount of detail that it adds. So that's a lot of detail there. So let's click on OK. So now you can kind of tell what the painting is. So I noticed that I actually didn't make the... 50% layer high enough. So what I might do is just delete that 50% layer, make another extra copy of the original layer, and move it up, and let's name this 50%. And let's lower the opacity to 50%. And let's redo that one. So if you just make a mistake, just delete it and redo it. So now let's get those details in properly. So just about there, I think. And let's click on OK. So that looks much better now. So it actually looks like a threshold effect of a classical painting. So if you like these videos, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want more videos like this, let just let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, uh, just ask uh, me in the comments below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. So I'll see you in the next video.